Uh, we have not started. I have no idea. I, I mean, I've been thinking about it that much. Yeah. But, uh, okay. Yeah. Regardless, so. uh, game one between Unleashed and Sharp winners finals. Uh, I'm gonna pull up their uh, history because. Yeah, I'm curious too. So I know uh, Sharp is obviously up, but I know especially pre quarantine. Uh, at least I'm pretty sure it was positive on Sharp. I could yeah. be wrong. But Sharp with the quarantine power up, just playing all of those Wi-Fi brackets, just got so good. Um, so quickly. Um, Sharp playing the ZSS this time. He was playing Cloud versus uh, Just Blue earlier, and he was playing uh, Cloud. I think versus not Dolan. Um, no, it was it was still versus. Um, it was still versus Just Blue. According to the Sharp <laughs> farms on Leash, oh. I'm sure there are some missing challenge brackets from. Yeah. COVID. Yeah, so at least according to Smash G, uh, Start GG data, the uh, set count history between these two players is 13-1, and it probably is arguably worse. Um, right. For Unleashed, it's probably higher in, t in Sharp's favor if we uh, include challenge brackets. The, on the topic of the stadium, uh, there was actually... Uh, they played last stadium, and it was Game 5. So that's something interesting. Do you remember the characters? The Sora joke. Okay. And funnily enough about that set, the Sharp wanted that set to go by really fast because he had to use the bathroom. <laughs> if you actually rewatch the set, you can see Sharp like running <laughs> after like this bumping. He really had to go, but it was game fast, so he was like, ah, yeah, you <laughs> Okay, we're going to see um, Sharp take that first stock, keep Unleashed on his toes. But, oh, I thought I was going to see the double hit Nair and then up smash. Nice. I mean, not. I mean, that was kind of lame. How he, <laughs> he literally missed the second hit, and it's, it re like auto. It auto correct. <laughs> Anyways, uh, not sure. Four matchups are weird. Those are still kind of for us, and not. They're not. Even though they are technically the most popular character in the game, they're definitely not the most popular character in the, the meta. Sora. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like he was the most requested character for the game, but not. Yeah. Because. I was talking about this in, his, in one of Unleashed's earlier sets. It's just like, besides Unleashed, I think he's like the only one to really be solo maining this character, especially at like a PR level for your state. Right. Like, I can't think of another Sora player that plays him as a like a main main, not a secondary. There's a there's Opana in like in New York, I think. I don't know. They're, they're pretty notable. Oh, I was mostly just talking about, like, in New England. Oh, in yeah. New no, no, not at all. <laughs> yeah, like, it's just Unleashed, which is amazing, because at least we have another character diversity. I mean, on top of this, like, 20 other characters. Yeah, Unleashed uh, loves playing uh, new characters, uh, or is the newest character. He's the type of person, it's, it's funny. Okay. <laughs> That was that. Now. No, he deserved to, to like yeah, lose his stock and not get that's anything off of it. Sora, dude, you're not hitting that. I was gonna say it's funny. It's funny because all the people. Wow. All the people who wanted a main Sora who actually, oh wow, who actually wanted Sora in the game and wanted to like main him, do not use him. And unleash. He obviously likes Kingdom Hearts and Sora, but like he didn't care that much, and he's the only one to commit. So like I respect it. Ooh. I was talking about this the other day with my friend. Like, imagine somebody, if you like main Sora and you don't even care about Kingdom Hearts and you're like an actual like psycho. <laughs> oh, just because it's like his cool kid is like, like you. It's like a Shulk Sonic thing almost. Mm. Most of the time, like, you will play the character if you like. The Ooh, this is, I mean, could be the start of something for Unleash right now. Let's have. He's, all, he's really close to Max Rage, so yeah. Okay. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh my god. That I think that would have killed. That would have killed. That would have killed. Sure. Like, I was talking about this earlier on stream. Sora's, like, smash tags hurt. No way. No way. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Sora's smash tags hurt. If he got that um, first hit um, there into a smash conversion, it would have been gone. But I think there might have been a little bit too much rage on Sora yeah. to be able to. Like, there was too much knockback after the first hit in there. And then it kind of just sent him a little bit too high to get the conversion into the F smash. It was a little unfortunate, but that's the name of the game. So we're going to see Sharp take game one. We're going to be... It looks like we're going to a different stage this time. It's going to be Battlefield. I'd, I'd imagine Sora really likes this stage. Is it because you can shark people onto the platforms? Sora just likes platforms. 
sort of. I, I noticed a lot of DLC characters in general, like Sephiroth and Steve. Like, if you miss a tech on a platform, you, like, you're done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. That's, uh... Unleashed is, uh... He doesn't rob the, like, the really good... Uh, like, you know, it's just normal for some of our players that they don't really rob the, like, stuff that are really needs. But Unleashed is just pure fundamentals and, uh... Mm -hmm. This play style, he doesn't really need them. So one of Unleash's like most consistent ways to kill I've seen is uh, if you miss a tech on a platform, you will like 90% of the time like read where you're gonna roll in or like what you're gonna do, and you will die to win ups. Yeah, it just seems like he has like option coverage down. Like he just knows what's gonna happen, and then yeah, he'll just react to everything he can. Most of it. Yeah. <laughs> Nice Zara. Yeah, I might, I don't know that much about this matchup, obviously, but like I, I'd imagine Zara is really good. Yeah, because you just want to, you just don't want to box Sora. I mean, obviously, like ZSS has like great frame data in terms of like, oh, that up smash. Yeah. I didn't take it. This is good. Yeah, Sora's up is a little bit stronger. This character. Like, yeah. 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 That, that was a panic air dodge moment, and then. Unleash just capitalizes the move with the app smash, which is a great call out. That's exactly what you need. You just need to get these like kills off of that. Otherwise, you'd just be in the same situation. Ooh, dive kick. I mean, I always say this. As long as you have good reads, I think I think that's a Massachusetts staple, honestly, because even Mars has admitted that he doesn't have his reaction. He's, he himself has said his reaction time suck. He's just really good at making reads. Yeah, because once you, because I guess the thing is like if you know what your opponent's gonna do, or you can almost certainly guess correctly what they're gonna do, that just gives you such a big advantage because then you could just react accordingly. Right. Like, I, I, I with most states, I can see. Uh, I can, I, <laughs> I can like, you know, I can like pick them on play styles, and you can obviously tell they play each other all the time because they mm -hmm. all, like Massachusetts has like, we're we're masters. <laughs> 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 We make good reads, but we're, we're, we're mashy as hell. Medicaid likes to play it slow and like camp and stuff. Uh, Hampshire is very uh, patient. I notice, uh, with that, especially with that last set, we uh, are they got a taste of that. From what wow. I noticed, well, at least I can see with a few people. I can see with a few people, I, but not certain ones. With these like with these like uh, generalizations, I'm talking about like these. Surprisingly enough, I don't really think these apply to like the best <laughs> representatives of each state. Really, White does not camp. Usually. Oh yeah, 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 you're right about that. Tyler, yeah. come on, he usually he's more he has more of a Massachusetts play style. I feel like. <laughs> Same with Sharp. So I feel like the number ones in every state <laughs> just are all aggro. They would play differently, but like the rest of the. Oh state. yeah, so it'd be Light, Mars, Tyler, and Sharp. Yeah, no, that's yeah. literally yeah. Yeah, they, they all they all play. Oh, and Lyrex. Fly, yeah, they don't play. Oh, I don't know. Vermont's play style. I'd imagine he play. I mean, he plays Roy. Like, yeah. Mark. Okay, so <laughs> we might have missed some stuff, but it looks like Unleashed is up two stocks to one and has a decent like lead on him. It does, but if there's one thing with these top players, this is that last Ooh. stock is always it always feels like a boss battle, dude. Like they're like, okay, I gotta stop messing yeah. around now. Game five last stocks are one of the best situations, or game threes too. It's just like it's one of the best times to like be in the region because especially with like the storylines that happen. Right. Dude. I mean, I mean, I I thought I'm pretty unleash definitely has. Used to have Sharp's number pre-COVID, or at least they were like pretty close in skill level. But Sharp had the power up. I mean, last season, at least was he, he was still right, but he wasn't as. Oh, he's done. Ooh, Ooh great recovery. Nice. Yeah, that's it. I'm wow, surprised. that was safe. That was safe. <laughs> CSS does not indeed suck. I guess. Oh no, that's, that's gonna go. That was, that's gonna go. That stole that, the that game. Was barely clipped. It looked like. I mean, he got that. I was gonna mention, like, it looked like Sharp was trying to go for a lot more Zares this match, at least in that um, in-game situation. But wow, I'm looking at the replay, and it's just drop zone. It's not drop zone. It's like drop from ledge, double jump, and then go for a counter, a raw counter too. He like unleashed literally just red. Like, yeah, you're gonna back air me, or you're gonna go for like some other option, maybe like there, and just calls it out. And then gets and just steals that game. Cloud. Interesting. Sharp r really wants to play Cloud. He wants to play Cloud so bad. And I can character's good. I can relate, but he just loves Final Fantasy VII and he loves Cloud. But sometimes and he he can pull it off. I believe in it. But sometimes 
It's just, I think it's college good. It is. You can very well win this, but the thing is, is you can also very well lose this. Yeah. I think, obviously, I think the kill power potential and just long reach for Cloud is a lot better, but you obviously have to be able to recover better, especially against Sora, because you got to be careful of Nandaga and, like, all of his options. Ooh. Imagine Sora does pretty good in this matchup, too. Just on paper, really. I don't have any evidence to back that up, but like, just, I'm just thinking about Even, it. like... I guess it's because, like, both characters have, like, similar distances. Ooh, that was a great catch on that down air with up smash from Sharp. What Amish likes to do is, because down air auto cancels if you're high enough. Mm. So you can land them and just, like, shield or spot dodge. And Sharp's like, I'm not giving you a kiss. Nice. I like that counter. Yeah. Sharp probably wouldn't have gone all the way out because he might not have actually been able to recover. Amish <laughs> is looking scared. He's like, get away from me, bro. Okay. Don't have some really good extra credit right now, but Unleash is probably going to take the set spot fairly soon. Yep, back air is not going to be able to get the KO Unleash. Still gonna, not. I'm going to pull the trigger on the edge guard a little fast there. A uh, little more patience would go a long way, but... Oh, I looked like Sharp was trying to go for a downer there, but just got stuffed out by the up and then just goes for the KO. Ooh, nice spot dodge. Unleash has really good spot dodges too, if I have to like... <laughs> oh. I have to commend another aspect of this. He is Spot dodges are pretty smart, is what I would call them, but other people would. Because it doesn't seem like he mashes it, but he just knows when to time it right. Would you agree? You're right. Especially with Sora, you can be belligerent with it. Because <laughs> you can, like, spot dodge, like, down smash, and then, like, high profile and move. You can, you can be really funny with it. Ooh, okay. I was expecting a grab there. There it is. Uh oh, Thunder is going to send him. I up. I have to use that limit, man. Oh, that has actually a really good air dodge. That's just going to reversal the situation. Sharp in now in the control with the stock lead. Dubbing oh. his confirms, man. <laughs> because of that, he's probably going to fall back on just rock hill power now. Uh, to death. Mm. I'll call on a smash attack in the next 10 seconds. Next 10 seconds while he's on the ground. Now, back throw is not going to be able to do it right nice. there. That down air is still that not going to do it. Kill. I, I mean, I don't know how strong down air realistically is. Oh, maybe if he had rage. To, I think he tried to spot dodge. Oh, oh, he went down. He yeah, crazy, dude. I mean, he had, he had a stock, and he was already at 165. I think you have the ability to just go that deep. Because how... I think um, Unleashed was maybe at, like, 80. You, okay, so we're looking at the replay, and he was about at 90. 87, specifically. So... If you do lose that stock and Unleashed somehow gets back, then you're looking at a 0 to 87% difference, which is still doable for Unleashed, but just Sharp had the sense at where Unleashed was going to be and just executed it and just took that game. So now, just, um, just a reminder, this is Top 8 Winners Finals of the Stadium. Naito Sharp is up 2-1 versus Unleashed. The winner of this will be moving on to Grand Finals. And then the loser of this will be playing the winner of Just Blue and Toxic later on. We're going to game four. Same character. Hey, Sora. I mean, I don't used to just pull the trigger on counter picks a lot before, but now I usually only see him do it if it's like losers and he's like, okay, I need to <laughs> figure something out. But I do like seeing just the like one character from Unleash. Obviously, he has like a whole arsenal of characters he could play, but I think just like him sticking to one character is just helping his Sora out way better. You're right. Sora has come a long way. A lot of people were clowning him. You're not. It's the classic Sora game. Nobody mains Sora, but at least he mains Sora. He's definitely yeah. one of the. I think somebody in Ryu the other day. I've heard from somebody mm -hmm. say that only issue was probably. Take this with a grain of salt. Someone. I think someone. In their opinion, said Unleash was like the best Sora in North America, or one of the best. Really? I mean, like Solomon Sora, not Solomon Sora, because I mean Unleash has only. He's definitely like, he's definitely up there. He's, he's gotten he got like 65th at Collision, which mm -hmm. isn't like big. But like I mean, it's yeah, but I mean like, amongst Sora mains. Right, Sora mains. <laughs> not people who pull out Sora like randomly. Oh, in seven or something. It's like bad. Obviously, you've seen the. Nice. Oh man, what the heck was that? Some people think Sora is bad, like he's not. And the, the funniest thing is, is that he's definitely high tier, and he's still the worst <laughs> fighter's pass character. Like, There's no way that's true. But, but, okay, Min Min's dumb. Steve is dumb. Suffer off. I don't think Min Min has a representation to say that character. 
I don't know. And this proto venom. I think I think in my opinion, I think so is the worst, but he's still <laughs> every time I tell people that they're like, wait, there's no way. I think it's Min Min, but I don't know. That Fighters Pass 2 is egregiously they're unbalanced. All good. They're all yeah. like, like I mean we're seeing it here. I mean he's holding himself up against like a PGR level player basically. Yeah. With Sword. He's up he's actually like up like pretty well right now. One yeah. whole stock. Oh, nice. I love that Sharp's going off the edge. Just at least did a better job at just being able to avoid everything. You see characters like Cloud and like Alma Roy like go off stage like for deep edge guards. You're like, what? <laughs> you just like start like getting so scared. It's like, wait, what are you doing? <laughs> Your recovery is not good. What are you doing? Good? Oh yeah, that's gone. Okay, Unleashed taking that with the up smash, and now it just has a full stock lead. So if Unleashed is on this current path, we could see a game five. And then maybe, you know, reverse over the 13 and 2 to make it 13 and. Oh, uh, no, 13 1 to make it 13 2. Oh, nice. This is a really good top four. We have someone New England's like us. In different states, too. It's not just Mass. Yeah, we have two Mass, uh, one Rhode Island, one. New Hampshire. Yeah. Really this Mass ran up smash. Probably would have took it there. Uh, off the yeah. Probably thought it was going to Oh, nice. that was good. Amazing adaptation. Yeah. That was a clean game too, only mid percent on two stock. That was really good. So, we're gonna see... Like I said, I feel like Sora does well in that matchup. I think, uh... Game 2, Sharp was just... At least he's just flubbing up his, like, edge guards and, like, kill confusing. And... So, this is gonna be our second Game 3... No, Game 5. Unleash actually had the first Game 5. Sharp's definitely counter. Oh? <laughs> yeah, back to ZSS? I respect he's Sharp. covering it. I respect Sharp's, yep. uh... I think, yeah, Unleash is locked in on, on Sora. Now it's just the ZSS. Okay, there's confirm. We're going to game five of the Stadium 2 winners finals. Winners, the winner hey, will move on to grand finals. In this game, you're either you either are committed to your main character specialist or you're a counter picker. And Sharp is a counter picker. Yeah, I'm a counter picker. Sharp literally has said that he doesn't. He has like 10 mains. Like, and he's good with all of them. He literally beat Jazzo at Smash World Tour with random. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. Wait, like the offline version? Yeah, it was one of the... Not the, like, actual tournament itself, but, like, one of the, like, qualifiers. Oh, so it was online. I think it was, like, one of... No, no, it was offline. Oh, it was... Oh, so it was, like, the round round offline. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got it. It was, like... I think Sharp was guaranteed to make it out anyway, so it's, like, one of those. But then he was, uh, like, he was like, I'm gonna go random, and he still won. <laughs> <laughs> not Jazzo, uh, Vendetta. Like, oh, okay. Same region, same yeah, yeah, character. Ooh, I was thinking... I'm looking bad right now. Ooh. Oh, that that would have been so good for Sharp if you got the Paralyzer down smash, because that would have been a stock. Like, absolutely. I want to see Unleashed go for more drags, I feel like Sharp has been shielding a lot. Yeah. There's a lot of situations where I feel like putting Sharp in disadvantage would be better than trying to, like, kill him. It might have been easier to try to get grabs. Ooh, the great back here. It might have been try to. It might have been easier to try to get back here against Cloud. Oh, he's dead. Oh no! I think it. I, it, I don't want to sound dumb, but I feel like that move has a tipper, and I think if he had the tipper, he would have had. Which move? Uh, up there. Could be oh, wrong. for Sora? Yeah. I do not think so, but I mean, I could be wrong. Tell us if you know, chat. So right now, Sharp up one stock is kind of getting the percent lead back in his favor, but I mean, Unleashed still not out of it. One good hit. I mean, one good up smash, honestly, would be able to take players, it. players, dude. They have a lead, and it's just... Yeah. He is playing the stock really well. Not trying to, like, pull the trigger. Which player? Uh, unleash. Like, mm. despite being down. Oh, that would have been it. Was that... Yeah, that was up yeah. yeah. Up tilt would have taken it, too. Does up tilt? Does up tilt kill? It would kill now, yeah. Really? Yeah. I didn't know it was a kill move. Ooh. It's like a Diddy up tilt for... Ah, got it. Oh, yep, up throw would yeah. kill. Okay. So, Unleash, evening up the stock count to a piece. Only slightly behind, but definitely can bring it back. I mean, he's been playing really well against Sharp, at least in these last, like, minute and a half. He's not giving Sharp all too much. Obviously, he's taking up, like, a decent amount of percent, but it's not, like, consistent, like, strings. It's just kind of raw hits. Oh yeah, I like that. This space, the side B goes for the up B conversion because he's probably not going to get anything else. 
probably not going to go grab because, I mean, I imagine side B is pretty safe. Up B. Yep, that's going to do it. Hey. Okay. Still not out of it for Unleashed. Reminder that if Sharp does win, then he'll move on to Grand Finals and uh, Unleashed will be moving on to Loser's Finals side. Uh oh, here it comes. I like the down air. It's a lot of. That's a thing I don't see Soros go for a lot, but. It is like a. Like a down air that a lot of Sor Soros can, like, develop a bad habit of using, but I think Omnish is uh, pretty good. He's gotten some obscene kills with it before in the past. Yeah, it's because he's not just like. Oh, yeah, it's gone. Yeah. Because he wasn't, like, wildly using down air, but, you know, that's going to steal it out. Sharp! After going down. Brings it back with the ZSS and takes game five to move on to grand finals. Very entertaining set. Uh, it's back and forth. Yeah. I mean, he was keeping him on his toes with the characters, too. He kind of had him in checkmate a little there. I mean, he did beat the ZSS with the Sora, so maybe not, but he, had to, he kept him on his toes. And, and both played, they both played really well. Yeah, uh, next up, we're getting... Toxx versus Just Blue. I, uh, I, I'd imagine Just Blue. I feel like he's never lost to Toxx. Like, I, I uh, think there might have been one game that Toxx did win, but I will be right back. I'll be catching you guys. I'm still gonna be commentating. I'll just be right back. So Ty, just pull down the fort. <laughs> pull up this head-to-head -head reel. <laughs> yeah. Let's <laughs> ruin Toxics head to head. Toxics won one time. Every other time. Uh. One and four. Uh, Interesting to see. Him. But no, yeah, today's been a really good tournament. Not as much people as the last stadium. Probably gonna be ending a lot earlier. But, uh, some good talent, nonetheless. Uh, proud of uh, Target Test for everybody who attended the tournament did make top. So that's minus half. Uh, yeah, I don't, I'm not sure when, uh, I'm not sure when, uh, those one toxics are heading up. I imagine Ike probably doesn't even do that bad against, uh, I feel like his Nair probably just, like, demolishes blocks, honestly. I feel like, uh, I don't know. I'm going to a, a quick break. We'll uh, be right back with some more New England Smash Ultimate sets very soon. 